Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, we have made detailed video on the export potential of Tejas and informed our viewers that the discussion with the three countries is an advanced stage which are Malaysia, Argentina and Australia. The pride of Pakistan JF-17 is out of race from Malaysia and Australia. However, they are in the race for Argentine Air Force. Today, we are talking about Argentine Air Force requirement because their Chief of Air Force, Brigadier General Isaac, in an interview with Info Defensa, told that the search for a fourth generation supersonic fighter is an absolute priority for the Argentine Air Force. He also highlighted that any deal with a foreign company would have to include industrial cooperation with FADEA, the country's state owned aircraft maker like HLS for India. Isaac said this would involve offset agreements which would mandate the chosen foreign supplier invest a portion of the contract value in the customer country. Such offset deals aims at creating employment and spurring technology growth. Isaac also told that Argentine Air Force have received offers for supply of JF-17 from China and MiG-29 and MiG-35 from Russia, but they are also awaiting proposals from US and India. He also revealed that Argentine Air Force wants to receive all offers for a new aircraft by end of this year and by the first quarter of next year decide on a platform and financing for it. Talking about Argentine requirement, it is looking for a supersonic fighter jet to replace its aging fleet of French Mirage 3 and 5 fighter jets and also US built A4 Skyhawk subsonic fighters. Argentina's defense minister has set aside $664 million in its budget document to procure fighter jets for its air force. However, Pakistan started its propaganda of twisting the facts. The Twitter handle of Pakistan Consulate General in Jeddah on September 18 tweeted that Argentina had earmarked US dollar 664 million to buy 12 JF-17 Block 3 jets from Pakistan. The Argentine Ministry of Defense has to officially deny this request and stated that no fighter aircraft of any origin had been shortlisted and the process is in the technical, economic and financial evolution stage of five alternatives. The Argentine Air Force had been seeking to induct new supersonic jets for decades, but they have to face several challenges from financial condition to British pressure on arms companies. Argentina had attempted to buy Saab Gripen from Sweden and later F-50 trainer light fighter from South Korea, but both deals could not progress under British pressure. Both aircraft use British equipment, including ejection seat built by UK-based Martin Baker. Interestingly, JF-17 jets in Pakistan Air Force Service and HLS Tejas both uses Martin Baker ejection seats. Tejas also use air-to-air -air refueling probe and quartz radom manufactured by UK-based company Cobham. While aircraft makers, in theory, can select and install new ejection seats on an aircraft, the process to test and validate aircraft and equipment at various altitudes and flight conditions is time consuming and would add to costs. With Indian Tejas, it is not just ejection seat, but they have to also look for alternative air-to-air -air refueling probe and quartz radom. The bigger question is, will HL be ready with all the changes specific to Argentina? At present, it's not, but if it considers to do so, it might have to look for Russian alternative for ejection seat, refueling probes and quartz radom as developing it indigenously and testing will be time consuming. If India has to make Tejas an export success, they have to either get British in agreement for Argentina deal or replace them with indigenous component and as a stop gap arrangement use the Russian components. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic 
related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector